Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't made a video on Curb Your Enthusiasm in a couple episodes. Even though I've made a promise to actually talk about this show, I instead wanted to talk about something different. Because even though the season is not over, I'm not really feeling this season. I, and I can't believe I'm saying that. Yeah, there are some funny episodes that have taken place in the show. It's not like they're completely devoid you know, Curb is at its best when it makes you laugh, which is 90% of the time. You know what I mean? It's not one of those shows where it's like funny, but you don't actually laugh. Curb actually makes you laugh. It's genuinely funny, even in season 12. But I understand there's been a general consensus online, and I'm also feeling it as well, that season 12 is just different. Like, it's not... It's like more recent Curb, but it's not like the classic Curb that we know and love. And yes, there are still some really hilarious moments in there. Like episode seven, I just watched the Gettysburg Address was was really funny. Like there was some really funny moments to it that felt like classic Curb. But also, I don't know if it's that the show is self-aware now. I don't know if it's that Larry David is playing up too much of this asshole Larry David. I don't know what it is, but now it just has a different feel that I can't say I appreciate the same way that I used to appreciate Old Curb. And, you know, that's really disappointing because this is the final season of the show. And my love for it is at kind of like an all-time high, especially with Jeff Garland and Susie Green, I think her last name is, having their own show, or maybe that's Jeff Green from the show, I don't know, Susie, whatever her name is in real life, Eskin or something like that. They have their own podcast, so my love for the show is even higher now, hearing their perspectives on filming it and then watching episodes back. I love it more than ever, but this season just... I feel like it lost the soul of what made Curb Your Enthusiasm so good to begin with. I don't know how necessary necessarily to describe that, but it's something that I'm waiting to see how it develops. It feels like this is more of a sitcom with a story arc than any other season of Curb, and that's fine. Like, There's nothing wrong with that, but it just feels so unlike Curb Your Enthusiasm. And yeah, I know some of the more late seasons, like the Mocha Joe season, they had story arcs and all of that stuff, but not quite like this. This just has a different feel. Maybe it's because it's there's an end game plan, and maybe they want to do something with the show that they just haven't done yet. I, I really can't pinpoint what it is, but it just feels different, and I'm not sure I'm a fan of it. And these these are my kind of early thoughts on the show. It's pretty simple. I don't feel like making this video, but it's just a thought. You know what I mean? I just wanted to get this out there. Is anyone else feeling the same way I'm feeling? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Probably one of the quickest videos about Curb Your Enthusiasm I've ever had, but eh, I, eh, I'm not really feeling it. It's not pretty, pretty good. You know what I mean? It's, it's, eh. I'm still laughing, but whatever. Let me know how you feel about it down in the comments. Oh, and a big, big shout out to all of the patrons who are supporting me directly. I'm going to put them here on screen. Your contributions to the channel are helping fund future projects for this channel directly. It really doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you so much. There is so much in store on there, like my Walking Dead rewatches. They're going to be full live commentaries for certain episodes, not all of them and so much more. Thank you again. Your support means the world. With that out of the way, thank you again so much for watching this video. Until the next one, I'll talk to you later. This has been the longest peace out ever. Jesus.